check it out, Share. Today we're destroying my 100 year old pool. But we ran into one big problem. That thing came out of the pool? Uh. Share, there's a snake that just came out of our pool. We found snakes. Lots and lots of snakes. Let's get into it. That's right, Shares. I just spent the weekend in Miami and it is completely surrounded by incredible pools. They got the lap swimming type pool. They have the fancy type pool. Hot tubs, more hot tubs. They even have a water fountain type pool. Okay, well, I don't think you can really swim in that one. And hanging out in my hotel room, looking at all these beautiful pools, it got me thinking. Mm. Right, I just bought a brand new house, but the backyard pool is not working. In fact, it hasn't worked for over 10 years. And even before that, this pool is super ancient. It's over 100 years old, which means I have no idea what's gonna be living inside of it. Oh, back here, oh my God, oh my God. There's a snake. But that's probably the least of my worries. The biggest worry is I have to rip out this old pool and build a brand new one, which means it's gonna cost a lot of money. But the good news is, Sharers, that means you all can help me decide which type of pool we want to design. And I have four awesome pool designs for you all to choose from. But first, we need to pack up, ooh, get out of here, and get on a plane so I can fly back home and show you these awesome designs. But of course, before we go, one last snack. So good. All right, let's go. Hey, Sharers, I'm Maddie with the Share the Love team, and I am out here by the pool today because Steven is getting it drained and I wanna see what kind of things come out of it. So I'm here to investigate. Guys, there's something in here. I don't know what it is. It's so gross in here. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, is that? Oh my God, oh my God, guys, look. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Where's it going? Oh my God. The snake went all the way back here and into this hole, but this hole looks way too big for that snake. So I'm kind of freaked out. I'm gonna have to call Steven right now and let him know what happened because this is insane. Also, how cool is this? They're about to build a Bentley building. That's right, a building owned by the Bentley car company. So that's the type of material they're gonna use. And it's gonna get constructed right in that lot right here. And it's going to be the most beautiful building ever. I kind of want to move in. But I did just move into my new house in Pennsylvania and we got to build a pool, so let's not get distracted. And just like that, I am back home now and apparently when I was gone, the pool people actually came and they started draining the pool, so it's probably pretty empty. And not only that, but shares, I have the three pool designs with me right now, so I'm gonna show you them, but first, let's get back and let's check on the pool. And this pool is over 100 years old, so there could be a lot of things at the bottom. There could be turtles, there could be construction debris. I have no idea what to expect in the bottom of a 100-year-old pool. Oh, and here it is, whoa, check this out. This is crazy. Honestly, the pool looks bigger without the cover on it. And this pool is deep too. Look, there's even steps over here. I didn't even know this thing had steps. What in the world? I mean, it's so old, the tile started breaking off. Look at this, it's like some antique tile. There's some sort of like drain plug thing here. I don't know what that would be. And then you come in here and this is, oh, this is filled with mud. So much mud all in this thing. But there's a big light down there. I can't tell how much deeper it goes over there, but I would assume it goes way deeper because there's a diving board. I think it's supposed to be like 10 or 12 feet. So there could still be a lot of water in there. Apparently they can't drain all the water in the pool, otherwise the pool will actually lift out of the ground, so that's why they're keeping this water in here. Oh, there's stuff in there though. It's like a pond, there's like seaweed, algae. I don't know what's down here though. This is scary, this is what's scary. There's nothing but like black water in here. I can't wait for you all to help me choose a pool design. How deep is this gonna go? Oh, it goes, oh, it goes way deeper. This thing is really deep. No way, okay, look at this, ready? That's how much deeper it goes. So it goes another four and a half feet deep. But shares, let me start by showing you the top three designs that we have for the pool. So because this pool is so old, we're actually going to renovate the pool. So we're gonna keep the existing footprint of the pool and just basically repair it, but it's gonna look brand new either way. The pool's gonna stay the same direction. It's gonna go from the house out this way. So that way when you're in the house, it's gonna look super, super long and super cool. And that leads us to design number one. It's got a sun shelf where you can put lounge chairs on it and it has a square hot tub with a waterfall at the end. I really like this design. But then we have design number two. It has a slanted ramp going into the pool. So that way you don't have to jump in at all. You can just walk right in. And then it has steps and a circle hot tub at the other end. I thought that was pretty cool and pretty unique. But we also have design number three. This has a sun shelf for two loungers steps on either side, and then a super long hot tub with a waterfall at the end of it. And this option gives us the biggest hot tub. That's right, so for design three, the hot tub would start here and go all the way 
over here. Imagine a massive hot tub that big. I could literally swim laps in it. It would be seriously the biggest hot tub ever. So Sherrod's vote for which pool design you like best, one, two, or three. Remember, I need your help in deciding which pool option is going to be the best to put here in the backyard. And that leads me to today's fan mail shout out. Today's shout out goes to Jackson. Major shout out to Jackson for drawing the Sherrigini. Obviously here the Sherrigini is green, but as you know, my Sherrigini is in the shop right now getting the world's first ever diamond Lamborghini wrap. And when it's done, I'm going to do a Lamborghini wrap reveal video. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. But that does mean we have to get rid of the diving board. Steven, you're not gonna believe what I found. What? Over here in this trap, there was snake and it came out and it went slithering all through the pool and it slithered out of the pool. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then it went this way. Wait, a snake? How big was the snake? Like this big. Came out of the deep end? Out of the filter. And where did it go? He went all the way over here. He slithered out of the pool and then he came all oh! the way back here. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. There's a snake. Uh, that is way bigger than the snake that I saw. That thing came out of the pool? Uh... Sherry, there's a snake that just came out of our pool. Okay, what do we do? Do we call animal control? Oh my god. What in the world? That snake is giant. This is insane. What kind of snake is that? Are you serious? Hi, we have this massive snake in our backyard right now. I don't, I, it must have come out of our pool and I, we need someone out here immediately to come get this because this thing is, it's bigger than me. Maybe stand back. It looks like it's gonna strike or something. What, is that a boa constrictor? What is that thing? I, I don't know. It's like maybe a, maybe a python. We should definitely stay away. That thing was living in our pool. That's insane. Oh my gosh. What in the world? I think it came from the hole over here because that's where the other snake was. And Oh, that's a big hole. Yeah. Yikes. Okay, oh okay, my okay. gosh. Watch out, watch out. Just don't let, get close to that snake. We should stay back. Did they say how long it's going to take for animal control to get here? <sighs> At least 30 minutes. Steven, what's going on? Grace, watch out. There's a snake. Oh my. Steven, what is that? It's a snake. Where did that come from? Out of the pool. We drained the pool and now it came out. Steven, we gotta get that out. Oh, look at its head. It's like about to pounce. Did you call animal control? Yeah, they're, they're gonna be like another 20, 30 minutes, they said. Oh my goodness, that came from the pool or the pool house? It came out of the pool and then we found it in this hole. <gasps> its head is literally about to strike. That is huge. So look, that's where the hole came out of. This is probably what I heard when I was taking the pool cover off. There's something deep in the deep end. Oh my goodness. Look at this. What is all that? I am literally terrified of snakes, so there better not be snakes in here. I wonder if there's more snakes in the pool. Oh. We should probably be careful. Oh. Yikes. All right, we should check the pool and see if there's any more snakes. Yeah, definitely. Oh my God. I mean, that, is, that thing looks like it could be pregnant. Probably the mom of the snake that I saw. Do they lay eggs? Do snakes oh. lay eggs? Yeah. They do? Mm -hmm. How else do they make babies? All right, we just gotta, I guess, wait for animal control. It looks like it's gonna try to go underneath the fence or something. Hopefully it just like goes to the other neighbor's pool. That's huge. Like you see how thick the middle part is? There's gotta be eggs in there. Oh, Stephen, you might want to stand back. Guys, animal control is here. I'm gonna go get oh, them. Yes. Okay, Please perfect. Get them. All right, good. Oh, quick, get animal control. You don't want to get bit. I'm so glad animal control is here. This is ridiculous. See, it's right there. Oh, it's okay. It's oh. A it's a red tail boa. It's not gonna hurt you. Are you sure? Yes. Does this one look like it like maybe laid eggs? Uh, possibly. Uh, it's not the right season for egg laying, though. Uh, well, we found it came from our pool. Yeah, well, they, they like water. So you think there could be more in the pool? There could be more in the pool, yes. Oh my God, oh my God, guys. All right, do you have a cage or something to capture this thing? I have a, a bag, I have a bag for it. Do you want to just grab that one, and then I guess we'll, if you, maybe after that, we can check the pool for more? If you want to, she's very gentle. All right, there's my bag. That's what we bag her up like this. You guys want to help me or not? Uh -huh. help me is it poisonous? No, it's not venomous. Nope. It's not gonna hurt me? It's not gonna hurt you. Just open the bag up, we'll put it right in. Calm down. <laughs> She's a very sweet animal. I've I've captured many of these over the years. So just relax. Just relax. Look, simple. See? There we go. It's one snake down. So you think there could be more there though? Could be. <laughs> What's the best way to find them? Uh they usually find you. So we're draining our pool, we're, re we're uh, redoing our pool. So share his vote for which pool design you like best, one, two, or three. And there's still a lot of water in the pool, but we're thinking 
because we drained it, that's what caused them to come out. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. South America, how do you think it got into this well, pool? probably somebody released it as a pet, most likely. Are these things like, do they constrict you or how do they? They, they constrict to kill their prey, yeah. Okay. But they won't constrict us because they, they know we're not prey. How do they know we're not prey? Because we don't smell like a rat. And then if we wanted to figure out where these eggs could be, do they lay eggs in the water? They lay eggs in land, under usually in a mulch pile or some place that's protected. Okay. So it could be up by the pool house? Oh, yeah, anywhere where there's some brush or mulch or leaves, they'll, they'll lay. I was thinking, could it possibly lay eggs in that mud down there? Could be, yeah. Oh, wow. And then the pool the house. Pool house. Pool house, yep. Yeah. Okay. They want to find a spot that's protected. Why don't we maybe just go look for more snakes? Since you're here, Sure. we're just going to go look, and then if Good we idea. see them, you can sure. capture them. It's moving. All right, you maybe want to, because they could be like living in here somewhere. Yeah, it's been untouched. Yeah, they're more afraid of you than you are of them. I think I'm going to stay out here. I'm a little scared, Steven. There's another snake. This one looks like Ooh. it might, is it still alive? It's alive, yeah. You see it moving, yeah. Steven, be careful. You don't want to get trapped in there. Uh, I don't think so, no. They're very docile, not to worry. This looks like a smaller one. It is smaller, yeah. It's a ball python, not a red tail. Ball python, what is it? Yeah, what does that mean? It just means that they, they curl up into a ball when they are sleeping or when they're afraid. Oh, so it's sleeping maybe? Right now, he's, she's, he's absorbing the sunlight. He likes that warmth, see? And how do you know if it's male or female? You, know, you can't tell by looking. It's moving. All right, you maybe want to grab it? I can, if you want me to, I'll be glad to, yeah. I just don't want it to crawl under something and we'll never get it. You don't want that happening. You're right, it'll get stuck. Let me know when you're ready. You good? Uh, yeah, you can definitely grab that one. He's fine, watch, right, just pick it up. She's not gonna hurt you. There's no reason to bite. See, baby? You're good. All right. You guys good? That's it. We got the bag ready. We'll put her in the bag and take her to a safe place. So even though it's a wild animal, I could technically pet it? You can pet it, yeah. Oh, it's smooth. It's really smooth. Oh, yeah. That's how they are. All right, are is that one pregnant, possibly? No, it's not pregnant. You can tell if it was pregnant and ready to lay eggs, it'd be a little bit bigger down here. Okay, and the other one that we caught was not pregnant? That way, I don't think it was either, no. It's hard to tell because it depends how, how far along they are with the egg development. So you think there could be more snakes by the pool? If there's two, there's probably a few more, yeah. <gasps> Look at that! They could be hiding. They could come out like this one for the sun. They like the sun. Or they could be buried. Anyway. Or they could be hiding, right. Wait, are the snake eggs white? Yes. Is that part of? No, I don't, I don't think that's an egg. No, that's a piece of paint or something, yeah. Oh, it looks like a snake egg. Ooh, oh, let's go, calm down. It's okay, let me see. Is that a snake egg? Uh, could be. All right, Sherry, we're gonna look for snakes in here. If you see any more, comment down below, because I definitely want to get all the snakes out before we redo the pool. Otherwise, we're gonna have snakes in our pool. Yeah. Can they climb up oh, to- Oh, yes, they can climb. Oh. Oh, they can climb. Oh, yeah. <gasps> all right, well, it doesn't look like they're gonna climb anywhere here. No, well, they, they like to hide in sheds, in like the, where the A roof joins the wall. They hide inside there in sheds. You would see them if they were hiding up here. So the, yeah, there's probably some in the pool house. It could be in there. Can't Wait, Steven, is that a snake in the pool? Where? Down there, yeah. What is that? No. It looks like a sticker or some kind of rubber or something. Oh, okay. Are there snakes in the pool house? That's the question. I'm gonna say probably yes. Yeah, because we found mice in there the very first time we moved in. If there's mice, there's gonna be snakes. There's a mouse. Where? Behind the pool ladder. Oh my goodness, there's an actual mouse. Oh my goodness, this is a cute little thing. It's scary in there. Oh, I heard something. I definitely heard something. There's something moving. This vlog is going to have to be continued. You won't believe what we found inside the pool house. So, Sherrod's vote for which pool design you like best. One, two, or three. 